Huh. Make sure you beat down that like button, comment, share, subscribe, and all that. I didn't watch the Joe Joyce fight and the uh, Cash Ali matchup. I didn't see it. I couldn't find where to watch it, so I tuned in to the Andrew Tucker live stream. Shout out to my dude, Andrew Tucker World. Gave you that energy, called the fight. And apparently, Joe Joyce stops Cash Ali in the 10th round. Sound like Cash Ali was kind of giving Joyce more problems than uh, I thought he would. And um, Joyce, apparently, I don't know, man, but Cash Ali thought he beat the count from what I uh, heard from Andrew Tucker. Uh, Andrew Tucker didn't think he beat the count. The referee didn't think it. So if the ref don't think it, that's what counts. And, um, yeah, so Joe Joyce gets a 10th round stoppage. It was a 10 round fight. I want to see the highlights because, uh, I expected Joyce to finish this probably in the second or third. I didn't expect much from Cash Ali and, um, did Cash Ali go the distance with David Price? Cause maybe he just has a good chance cause David Price could punch, but, uh, you know, I don't really know if Joyce is back. I'll, I'll have to look at the footage and make an assessment. But anyway, Joe Joyce gets a 10th round stoppage against Cash Ali. Joe Joyce, the winner. You know, at least that gives him some confidence now, I'm sure. You know, it's better to get a stoppage than a decision. But I'm watching Mike Tyson's trainer do an interview. I believe his name is Raphael. And um, he pointed out some interesting things. He said, apparently, this Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight had been in the talk since Mike fought Roy Jones. Wasn't Jake on that undercard? I think Jake might have stolen the show that night. I think that's what got the ball rolling for these Jake Paul fights. But um, he said the talks have been in the work since Mike Tyson fought Roy Jones. And he said it's not an exhibition. He doesn't know the rules or the glove size yet, but he said it's 100% not an exhibition. And he said uh, Mike Tyson reacts like a 20-year-old. I'm telling you guys, you guys keep going with this age narrative, and you're going to be in for a rude awakening like Jake is. And he also said that Jake – is training to fight as Mike is training to kill. Jake, there's still some time to pull out of this fight. Mike released day four of his training, still dropping bars on Jake. So I guess we'll get day five real soon, but again, Mike's trainer, who was a fighter himself, wasn't boxing. It was some rough type of UFC stuff back in the day. But like he said, Jake is training to fight as Mike is training to kill. I'm telling you guys, man, Mike has uh, got that switch. I think it's gone off. And uh, it's like the trainer was saying, too. He said when the uh, the interview were saying 27 to 57, that's a 30 year gap, you know, and Mike's trainer was like, yeah, on paper, but then sometimes reality crashes the party. <laughs> so uh, if you guys are so confident that Jake Paul is going to beat Mike Tyson, are you going to, uh, are you going to put your money on it? I know I wouldn't put no money on Jake Paul. If there's no headgear, 10 ounce gloves. Jake, first of all, is going to be running, running for his life, literally. And when Mike catches him, pull out the stretcher. This may look just as bad as AJ and Ganu. Jake, Jake, listen up, man. You probably picked this fight thinking um, you'd like to have Mike Tyson's name on your resume and you thought it might be a, a win, even if it's not too easy. You thought you could edge it out. You're not going to edge it out. 
Mike has too many combos, too much ring IQ, too much power, too much weight. Even if Mike drops down to 215, which they're trying to do, or even, you know, even if he went to a lower weight than that, he's still a naturally bigger man than you. So that's still in his muscle memory and his strength and power. And he knows how to generate power. But Jake, it's your life. <laughs> anyway, it's the J. Roos Theory. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe. LSR forever. And be fearless. Good day.